Okay guys, so we're here on our workbench. We're gonna wire in our LED for this example. We're gonna use pin 11, uh, PWM pin, just so that we can control the brightness of the LED. And you can find the wiring diagram for this circuit online. You can search on Google or just visit the Zoad website. It'll give you a, a schematic that you can follow. Pretty simple, standard example for Arduino. We're going to make it really easy. Um, Zode has a built-in node called LED, which represents a hardware LED. So let's go ahead and jump into the software and get that set up. So when you are greeted in the software and you first open it up, you want to create a new project. So just go up to File, New Project. Give the project a name and we'll create the project. And then what we'll do is we'll click anywhere inside of this patch. Um, and patches are similar to sketches for Arduino, but in the Zode language, it's called a patch. We'll click anywhere inside of this patch and hit the letter I, just type in LED, hit enter. That brings in our LED node, which is representative of our LED on the board. So when we click on the LED node, you can give it a name. We'll call it red LED, just for best practices. We'll assign it a pin, uh, which is what the port number is. It's on pin 11 on the Arduino. And to turn it on, we will give it a value of one. You can give it a value anywhere from zero to one as a percentage. So if you wanted it to be half bright, you'd type in 0.5. Okay, so now that we've got our, our um, patch written, what we'll do is we wanna download it to our Arduino. You can go ahead and just grab the USB cable. We'll go ahead and upload this. We'll choose the correct board. We've got an Uno running here. We are running our Arduino off of the USB port, and then we'll just click upload. Give it a few seconds. You'll see that it shut off and now it's back on. So to further show you that it's working, let's go ahead and shut the LED off. We'll go back into our LED and type in a zero. We'll go ahead and deploy it. And then we will upload. It's gonna shut off and then it's gonna stay off. All right, so there we go. So now you can see how easy it is to interface an LED using the Zode software. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire up a second LED. We're gonna use this blue LED. Um, this is gonna just be really fast, and then I'll show you how to add a second LED node into your, into your patch. We're gonna use pin 10 for the blue LED. Okay, and there we have it. So now what we're gonna do is, let's just go ahead and update our software. Give it a name, call it blue LED. And you can do this with pretty much every node that you can find in the Zoe library. Give, rename it just for good practices. It's on port 10. And let's make this half bright. Let's go ahead and plug this into our board. Okay. And then we will upload to Arduino. Click the upload. Give it a few seconds. And then the blue light should be half on and the red light is still off because we didn't change that value. So let's go ahead and let's turn them both on. So let's make the red light, go ahead and upload that code. Okay. And you can see I pretty much made this circuit in like less than a couple minutes. And it's so easy to interface with different hardware modules using the nodes in the Zode software. So if you're looking to create a really quick prototype and you don't feel like writing out a ton of lines of code, go ahead and download the software and give it a try. It's pretty easy. Their library is very comprehensive and I highly recommend using it if you need to get something done really quick. So if you like this tutorial, please click the like button below. Leave a comment if you have any questions and don't forget to check out the Zode software. It's xod.io. All right, in our next tutorial, we're going to be going over potentiometers, servos, and other advanced features of the Zode software.